Appreciative inquiry is another process of reflection for the reflective practitioner. And appreciative inquiry is different to action research. Appreciative inquiry is a study of ourselves, of people, of, of systems that, uh, that engage us and that we work with. Um, and uh, how these systems work successfully, work productively. And uh, this approach of appreciative inquiry is about change. It's about personal change and it's about organisational change and it's also about professional change. And it's based in certain assumptions. And these assumptions are that um, by constantly questioning and constantly uh, engaging in dialogue about our practice, um, we are creating that change, that personal, organisational and professional change. It changes um, um, our strengths, uh, it build, helps us build on our strengths, it challenges uh, those areas uh, that we want to build on uh, in terms of success. It helps us develop um, the values and the beliefs that we have. And it helps us uh, work with our hopes and our dreams uh, about uh, ourselves as teachers. And in this sense, appreciative inquiry is a transformative process for the reflective practitioner. And therefore, let's look at uh, a simple understanding about appreciative inquiry. The idea um, about reflection is that if we're always focusing on problems, we're always going to find problems. And appreciative inquiry helps the reflective practitioner look at their practice from a different perspective. And that perspective is about enhancing, magnifying the successes that we experience it helps us imagine the difference that we can make. It helps us understand that certain aspects of our practice don't need fixing, they need enhancing. And indeed, they need to be valued and celebrated. And it's through this uh, understanding that the reflective practitioner then improves. So, for example, we can consider two questions. An action research question might be, well, what problem do I need to fix and how do I fix it? And that's a good thing to do. But appreciative inquiry has a different premise. The premise might be, well, what works well in my teaching and how can I enhance this? So you can see there's a different perspective around appreciative inquiry for the reflective practitioner in comparison to other strategies for reflection and certainly in comparison to action research. And so for appreciative inquiry we can again look at a cycle um, in terms of the process and um, there is a particular cycle that we can use called the 4D cycle and we can see that cycle here. At the centre of the process of reflection using appreciative inquiry is a positive and uh, um, productive understanding of our teaching as a whole. There's a positive perspective of ourselves uh, in terms of our professional identity, our teacher identity. The focus for appreciative inquiry is not about fixing problems but about using that positive central standpoint, that positive focus, to generate uh, change and transformation for the individual. So part of the 4D cycle is about discovery. It's about appreciating aspects of teaching that the teacher is using, what is working well, what is being productive, what successes are being realised in the classroom or in the school? It's also about dreaming. It's about the reflective practitioner 
imagining how the positive aspects of their work can be enhanced, can be transformed even further so that they can enhance and transform their practice. And another aspect of the 4D cycle is about design, determining what should be in relation to practice, not from again the standpoint of fixing a problem but looking at positive attributes and building on them. And another aspect of the 4D cycle is about destiny, or in other words creating what will be, what improvements will be, what successes can be realized through the process of inquiry. So 4D is discovery, dream, design and destiny and is premised around a positive notion of uh, the reflective practitioner and the choice of discovery is about uh, affirming in a very positive way the identity that the individual reflective practitioner has and this affirmation of practice needs to be a positive choice rather than looking at problems need to be about looking at strengths and enhancing those strengths. So imagine the sort of difference that this can make for the reflective practitioner. It's not about fixing problems um, and the notion then is that there are always problems to fix because this has a negative connotation to it. The, the idea that um, we're not doing very well and therefore we need to do better. Appreciative inquiry is about identifying what we are doing well and using that to develop our skills and our understandings further so that we are constantly transforming our practice and therefore realizing ever increasing, ever higher uh, quality of practice uh, in the school environment.